Yeah, let's see what this is. Oh. Hello, we are Lucas oh. and Thomas from Hecate, and mm. this is Ad Infinitum. Ad Infinitum oh, is okay. a project that started in 2014 during our study oh. years. Back in the days, as students, we worked on solely a mere concept and trailer. Okay. We later got surprised by the oh, traction. Like Resident received. Evil One. While the idea for this game <laughs> has been stuck in our heads. What if we had like a Resident Evil One like this? After several small advances with prototypes, we finally started to commit ourselves to a full-time production in 2019. With crazy ambitions and a passion for horror and darker themed <laughs> games, we gathered a team of young, international, passionate people mm -hmm. in Berlin. This is my boy, and don't you forget it! In Ad Infinitum, you play a young German soldier who's trapped between two realities. Oh, okay. Within one reality, you have the opportunity to explore a seemingly abandoned mansion in Berlin, mm. unveil the sinister secrets that haunt this place. I kind of like telling the whole the story. Of its past. Didn't the, the other player find out for himself. you with the gruesome scenes of World War One. <laughs> oh, nice. You have Whee! to crawl through the muddy <laughs> trenches of the east of France and explore various it's other places themed around the Great nice. Wall, which you can explore in the final game. What's the other game? Uh, in our game, you will have to solve fear? intricate enigmas that challenge your troubled mind. A mind so distorted that mm. it is completely losing its grip on reality. Yeah. Now it's up to you, the player, the player. to figure out what is real and what might be manifestations of a never-ending nightmare. Mm. While encountering various manifested horrors throughout the game, okay. you are bound to uncover the truth. Mm. The truth so disturbing Line that we ask really. you, can you handle it? That. We are very excited yeah, to show you more there. of the game in the near future. Together with Naken, we are hard at work to bring the vision of Ad Infinitum to life. Mm. This project is very dear to us, and to create the best possible experience for you, we have to ask you for a little bit more patience. Mm. You would never be content to release this game that is so dear to us in a state we deem mm. not polished enough. Yeah. This is why we decided to move the release from April to September this year. <laughs> We thank you for your understanding and ongoing support. In the meantime, make sure to wishlist the game on Steam and follow us on social media to be updated on the advancements mm. of the game. Right. Here, you will also be able to find more content about Ad Infinito. Thank you all and see you next time. <laughs> nice. Even winter stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say him this monster. September, okay. Alright, Infinitum. Interesting. Yeah, so far the quality it is definitely a polished up. <laughs> it is definitely polished for sure. I guess I'm getting Resident Evil and Fear vibes from this. That other game that they freaking what deleted off Steam, <laughs> but people found a way to get it back. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Yeah, looking interesting. I feel like we played these type of games before, but you know it's good to see those games still around. You know, right into the old fear drama. I'm more of a kick-ass person, you know. Blow it up, <laughs> punch him in the face, shotgun him in the face, you know. Let's go crazy. Some high five rush type shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some metal gear. Yeah. Looks alright. Mm-hmm. Then you threw me off was the damn horse. <laughs> Leg right here. <laughs> Leg. <hey. laughs> his legs should be down there like that. His legs kicked up like <laughs> cocked up like shit. Like what the hell? Whoa, Stallion. Mm. Anyway, there you go. Add infinitum. I'll probably do that ad part out, but just, you know, infinitum. Yeah. All right. Good stuff.
We'll see more.